Hello, my name is Terry Pankert. I'm a Flint, Michigan divorce attorney. My office is located downtown Flint, right across from the courthouse. I have plenty of free parking and my initial consultations are free. 235-1970, 235-1970. What I'm going to do today is have a conversation with you about spousal support. One of my objectives is to keep my clients informed of the law so that when we're in the process of litigating your case, you know what the law is and you know what the trade-offs are. So let's start with spousal support. How do you get spousal support? Well, it's authorized by state statute and it must be just and reasonable under the circumstances of the individual case. That's where the art of advocacy comes into play. Here are the relevant factors that can be found in a statute and in the case law. And I'll just simply read them. And if you have any additional questions, give me a call, 235-1970. So here are the factors of a spousal support award. What are the past relations and conduct of the parties? What is the length of the marriage? What is the ability, the real ability of both parties to work and produce a livable income? What is the source and the amount of the property awarded to the parties? Does that property uh, cause income? What are the ages of the parties, obviously? What's the ability of the parties to pay spousal support? What's the present situation of the parties? What's the health of the parties, the prior standard of living? Who contributed to the marital estate? Who caused fault in this divorce? And does one of the parties cohabitate with somebody else right now? That's generally how the court addresses a spousal support order, but there's much, much more. My name's Terry Baker, 235-1970, 235-1970.